please stick around to the end of this video. This is going to be one of the most fascinating football stories that you've never heard of before. Obviously, you've got Ajax, Feyenoord and PSV when it comes to the big three in the Netherlands. They have the lion's share of titles, I think over 70 titles between the three of them. But then who's the fourth most successful team in the country in terms of league titles? You think it could be AZ Alkmaar. They've had a good few years, haven't they? They've had a few good runs in Europe. It's not them. It could be FC Twente after Steve McLaren. We have a young team and to experience uh, big games, Champions League, Arsenal at home, the Emirates will be fantastic for the players. Everything is there for a surprise. Uh, we have nothing to lose. It's not them. So yeah, we are on the way to the Netherlands to see a team that has won 10 league titles, but now play in a small local league. I think they've got the oldest football pitch in the country as well. And it's gonna be very similar to the video that I made in Italy about Pro Vercelli. They'd won seven league titles, they now play in the third tier of Italy. The team we're going to see have 10 league titles and are now essentially a non-league team. But yeah, just check this out from when I was in Italy. Look at this, champions, seven times. See, I'm not making it up. What is an equivalent of a League One club now has been champions of Italy seven times. The name of the stadium was? Silvio Piola. And that's a big legend in Italian football, yes. right? Yes. He's the Serie A... Serie A leader of the goal scorer. Wow, okay. Until uh, his last, the last season, I think it was... Uh, after the Second World War, so in the first 40s. Wow, so a long time ago. Yes, Did he win the World Cup then? He won the World Cup in 1938. Wow, so he won the but World Cup. he never won a Serie A title. But he played, crazy. that's mad, but he played for Vercelli. He played for uh, Pro Vercelli. We are here in a place that probably wrote the history of football in Italy. What makes this club so amazing? Because obviously the league titles are up there and the Seven history titles. is just unbelievable. Seven yeah. titles in 15 years, unbelievable. For such a tiny place like Vercelli, it was and it, it is right now. Am I right in saying that the World Cup winning team was made up of Vercelli players? Yes, four Italian and Vercelli, Pro Vercelli uh, players won a title. The in the World, World Cup? Cup? Yes, wow, okay. in 1934. I've been to a lot of places in the Netherlands, I've been to Amsterdam many times, Rotterdam, Eindhoven, but here we are in The Hague, Den Haag, for the first ever time in my life. And it's the third biggest city in the Netherlands in terms of population. It's the capital of South Holland, the region. Um, it's not the capital of the country, although it feels like it should be. This is where the government stuff gets done. This is where the royals actually live. Um, but fact of the day about the city itself is that there are more trees than people here. Now you probably know Addo Den Haag. I'm sure that's probably an Addo Den Haag sticker. The biggest team in this city who are nowhere near as successful as the team we're seeing today, but I need to cross this road. I sometimes do have to pinch myself. I really am visiting the places in the world that I really want to come to, and this place is really up there for me. It has just started absolutely pissing down, which is standard stuff for the Netherlands, but we're not gonna let it get us down. I'm pretty sure that says the first football field in the Netherlands since 1898. And are you ready? There it is, look at that. Currently a cricket pitch. Hang on, we need to get under some form of shelter here. It's the best way to go, this way. Uh, this is where it all began? Yep. Wow, okay. So what do we have? These are all the old kits. All the old uh, kits, yeah. And what about up here? Is this, that's Ajax, right? Yeah. They're playing uh, Ajax. When we uh, turned 100 years, we played a match against Ajax. Marco van Basten and, and Frank Rijkaard. Oh yeah, that's van Basten there, there, isn't it? There. Yeah, They're okay. All there. <laughs> yeah, I see him. My name is Frank Reville. I became a member of this club in 1963. And I'm uh, uh, very fond of cricket and, and soccer as well. But we used to have some more uh, like uh, squash and tennis here at the club as well. And I used to play that as well. I wasn't very talented. But I you've been say. here a very long time, so you yeah. must have seen everything in your time. Well, yeah, I've, I've seen the match. Uh, we've got the Dutch 11, uh, the cricket match against Australia. 
Oh, Australia cricket team. Yeah, played yeah, it, right? in 1964. So is this the national stadium for cricket? It used as well? to be. Used to be. Isn't okay. anymore because we don't have a, a big enough pitch. It's, okay. It's, we don't have a turf. But it, talking of the pitch, it is the oldest football pitch still in use in the Netherlands as well, yeah, which is, is amazing. It, and you've won all the league titles. You've won the cup as well, the Dutch yeah, Cup. Yeah. What makes this sports club in general, not just a football club, what makes this sports club so special? I think it's uh, history. I think uh, a couple of guys started off back in in uh, 1878 and they got together and they managed to get a team together and to play and started off the, the, the um, a competition. You have a lot of different age groups that play football here, don't yeah, you? Yeah, uh, we start off at five. And so you say there's over a thousand players in total now. Yeah. yeah. But something that you told me, which I really like, is that everybody, no matter what age they start, they have to do an interview before they start. Yeah, that's true. And what yeah. kind of things do you ask them in the interview then? Um, how they get uh, to to get to this club? Why? Um, do they know anything about the history um, and what do, you, do they expect of this club and parents uh, would you like to join we need volunteers yeah that's what that we, that's what we try and so provide. I suppose that it then really highlights how important the club is to the young kids who may not know that you've won 10 league titles and all the history that everybody all the kids will support Ajax and Fire yeah. Nord and PSV, but <coughs> at least they the know kids, they're playing for a good big club, you know. Yeah, but, but most of the kids that we interview know that we uh, have a badge. Yep. Mr. Star. Yes. So that's uh, most of the kids do know it. And so one star means ten league titles. Exactly. And the only teams with stars in the whole country will be yourselves, Ajax, PSV. And, and final, yeah. and so currently it's a cricket pitch. Yeah. But during the winter, is it a football pitch? Yeah. And then when the spring comes, you change it back to a cricket pitch. Yeah. But then the football team who was supposed to be playing today, the game's been called off. Okay. You would play over there. Okay. So for for most of the season during the winter they'll play here, but sometimes they'll play over there. Yeah. Is that the football team there? Yeah. yeah. HVV. Is that is that yeah. the national all... championship? Yeah. Was that the year they won? Yeah. Wow, okay. So, oh, so what does Hulda and the champion, is that? Hulda, uh, yeah. Uh, hooray for the champions. Hooray for the yeah. champions. Yeah. Oh, wow. So they were the that's, Dutch. That's what that was done. <laughs> so this season will be PSV, will be the champions. Yeah, yeah, and last yeah. season was Feyenoord. But in 1907, that was what the champions looked like. Yeah. <laughs> Phil? Yes? You work here at the club. Yes. What is your role? Uh, since two years now, I'm head of Youth Academy. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that means we have like 60 youth teams uh, with 60 trainers. So yeah, all the, the, the policy and uh, the way we play, the way we train. Um, yeah, it, it's a bit... My job is to get players in the first team. And how does it feel working at such a big historic football club? Yeah, that's great. Uh, that's the, I'm really proud of that. Um, since five years I work here and this is uh, one of the most iconic clubs in the Netherlands. Um, a, a big club but also uh, uh, like a family club. So I play here in the first team. Yeah, yeah, nice. And uh, yeah, one of the things that's, that's really cool is that players I used to train are now my teammates so they are putting me on the bench now yeah okay um, are they scared of you or are they your friend now that you're on um, the same team or uh, I used to be very kind to them but Good, now okay. I'm harder because they're <laughs> yeah. one of one of us one now. of you now yeah okay uh, but there there's a chance uh, obviously it's not a big chance yeah if you see it's like a 0.1 percent that's getting to the professionals um, but we're doing a really good job with with our first team we're gonna promote I hope uh, and, and if we promote then one time again we, we're gonna play division yeah uh, so it's not that we going for a new star but uh, we're good we're getting there and the men's football team now that you play in what level of Dutch football are they in whereabouts are they in the pyramid uh, it's uh, the second class 
So uh, four divisions higher, and you and you're at uh, the Eredivisie. You had a big tournament here, didn't you? A youth tournament. It's the star tournament. And it was a very. Uh, how many clubs were involved? Uh, Eleven clubs. Eleven clubs and our club. So it's uh, it's it's the star tournament. It's a it's a tournament for clubs with a star or just big clubs in the rest of Europe. And so you had Manchester United yes. and Ajax. Ajax, Bayer Leverkusen, Gent, Genk, Anderlecht. In the last couple of years we had Juventus, Paris. Uh, next year we hope to invite Barcelona as well. And so when they, Juventus played, Ronaldo's son? Ronaldo, Ronaldo's son played, we had uh, Kluivert's son. Uh, and this year uh, we have three players that play for our club that their dads played professional. Yeah. Uh, but it's a, it's a fantastic tournament. And last season's tournament, or the one just gone, you finished higher than? Manchester United. <laughs> so a bigger club than Manchester United? Yeah, for sure. You heard it here first. <laughs> oh, of course. That says welcome to the Deepet. Yeah, the oldest football ground of the Netherlands since 1898. And there's nowhere else? Nowhere else. That's still playing football that's as old as this? Yeah. There you go. Anyone watching, you have to come here. Absolutely. So, Dutch football champions. I'm going to prove some points to you here. Look, like I mentioned earlier, Ajax, one of the most successful teams in the world for league titles, but most recently won by Feyenoord. PSV are looking good this year. But let's have a look at the early national championships of Dutch football. Look at that. HVV, look how many times they won it in and amongst teams. HVV actually won it. 10 times before Ajax had won it and Feyenoord had won it and PSV had won it. They are clearly the pioneers of Dutch league football. As things started to professionalise in the 50s, teams just overtook them with more money and more resources because HVV are still an amateur club to this day. They don't pay their players from what I've worked out. And look, as you can see, uh, in more modern times, Ajax have just dominated the league along with, you know, PSV. And again, they're rivals from Rotterdam there as well as a few other clubs like Steve McLaren, um, FC Twente and AZ have all had their times as champions. What an interesting little club. You'll be hard pressed to find another football club in all of Europe that has a story quite like HVV Den Haag. If you did like this video, like I said, it's very similar to my Pro Vercelli video. So please do check that out for a similar Italian themed video to this one. Please click now to carry on watching.